Hello, hello, this is Elizabeth Griffin, the Black Romance Writer, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we are going to talk about contemporary romances. Have you heard of them? Have you read them? Do you know what it takes to write a contemporary romance? Well, if not, we are going to discuss this today. And I'm going to give you my unique opinion because I'm going to delve into the Black community and some of the things that I see going on there that I think we should write about and we should address because there are heated arguments, heated arguments on social media between the sexes, between men and women, and what they think love is, what they think relationships are, what they think commitment is. But let's get back to that definition. Contemporary romance is considered romance novels or novels that are written after World War II. And these romances will discuss the current day events and topics and things of interest. So I have been looking at social media and I have been taking notes. And obviously social media is only a snapshot of what's going on in the world and that there are different views and opinions about love, relationship, marriage, and so forth and so on. But for this video, we are going to talk about marriage and how men view marriage differently than women. And let me reiterate, this discussion, this video is simply talking about subject matter or types of stories that you can write about that reflect what's going on in current day society. So there is a soft life movement going on or a luxury movement where women don't want to work as hard as they used to. They want to enjoy and relax. There's also a conversation about pregnancy and motherhood and when to begin a family. There are lots of career women who have put off motherhood and starting a family because of their jobs, because of their education. And now at a later stage in life, they are contemplating getting married and they may be having difficulty in that area. Or some women may be freezing their eggs and deciding on starting a family when they do meet the right partner. And if they don't, then they may choose or opt to be single parents. And listening to these online conversations about family and parenthood, you can create romantic stories, interesting stories, stories that reflect what people are actually going through today. So these are ideas that you can incorporate into your writing. There is also that discussion going on about high value men and what makes a high value man. And you can use your own definition. There are many out there, but you can choose to write about a high value man and what he is looking for. And maybe some of the struggles and some of the compromises he's going to have to make. Because as we know, there is no ideal partner out there and there is no perfect mate. We can also talk about what makes a high value man. Is it really all about money and how much he earns? Or does it have to do with his character, with his morals, with his ethics? That is up to you to decide and up to you to write about. And I'm sure you can present your story in either a comedic way or a serious way. It is all up to the writer. Now we are going to get into even more controversial territory. Have you heard about the passport bros? Have you heard all the discussions about men leaving the States and going abroad to find love, to find happiness, to find marriage? Because as you know, according to social media and some platforms, the American woman is too modern. She is too liberal, too liberated. She's too busy living her best life. Well, that is according to some people. So these are also topics that you can write about. And I am sure they will be very entertaining and we will fall in love with the hero and the heroine. And we will get to see life and relationships. And maybe we can end some of this 
uh, hostility, some of this anger, some of this feeling like I am not the prize or I am the prize and you should value me. So I am having fun doing this video because there is so much we can talk about as far as contemporary romances. And as you know, lately in the news, they have been talking about whether or not men are the prize. As a contemporary romance writer, you can also look at marriage from the male perspective. I have heard conversations in which men are leery of getting married. They are concerned about protecting their assets, the money that they have accumulated before the marriage. They are also talking about having prenuptial agreements uh, signed before the marriage takes place. There are also some men who are considering life partners instead of wives. I've even heard a conversation in which a man stated that he saw a marriage license as an agreement made between him, his wife, and the state, and that he did not particularly care for that arrangement. As a romance writer, you know how important tension is to a story. It is what moves the story along. It is what keeps the readers engaged. And the subject matter that we're talking about today, that can create a lot of tension. There are also conversations that men are having about paying child support and whether it is fair for them to pay certain amounts. There are also men talking about wanting to have 50-50 custody of their children instead of just having visitation rights. So these are all things that you can incorporate into your contemporary romance novel. Have we talked about interracial dating and swirling? That is also a heated conversation. And there are conversations about swirling gone wrong and divesting from the black community, both male and female. So you can delve into these subject matters and create comedy, create drama, create suspense, whatever you choose to do as a writer. And we haven't even begun to talk about single moms and how they seem to be getting a very bad rap in some circles. Single motherhood is definitely seen in the black community and it should be written about. We should see the pros and the cons. We should see how women are struggling to raise families without fathers being involved. And we can also see fathers wanting to have a relationship with their children and being limited. There is so much that you can talk about. And in this particular dialogue, we're not going to say who's right or who's wrong. We're going to create a compelling story and let the reader decide for themselves. Another volatile subject is a woman's weight and whether or not she is exercising enough and whether or not a woman is allowed to gain weight after pregnancy. So these are some controversial subjects and we can discuss them in our books as well. Another subject matter which we can talk about in contemporary romance is colorism. Colorism exists. To what degree? It is up to you to write about it and to determine. Because I've heard some people say, oh, colorism doesn't exist. And I've heard other people say, yes, it is very pervasive in the black community. There is colorism, there is texturism, there is featureism. There are so many isms that need to be discussed including racism, sexism, you get the idea. So you can also incorporate this in your writing. You can even introduce other subject matters that haven't been discussed, but that you are personally familiar with. For me, I would like to write about parenthood and raising boys and how difficult that can be. And also raising a daughter. We can also talk about aging. No one really talks about aging. We're all going to get older. We're all going to age, God willing. And um, I think we should have literature that reflects aging and let us know that it is a part of life. It is a process and it shouldn't be feared. It should be embraced. It should be appreciated and it should be respected. Because as I said, everyone doesn't get the chance to grow old. They don't get the chance to enjoy their family, their children, 
or generations. We can also talk about generational wealth. Are you leaving money for your children? Are you leaving a legacy? And you can incorporate this in your writing.